Welcome, welcome to another mystery box opening. Today, I am setting my friends over at Chaos Cards the ultimate test on the quality of their mystery boxes. Previously, I opened a £100 custom mystery box themed around Shuckle. We've got a little Shuckle plush just there. We've got well, none of the other stuff because I sent most of it off the grading, but we've got our Shuckle plush and we've got all the Shuckle cards. So I thought, how do we up the game? So I've ordered two boxes from them. First box is right here fucking big box first box is right here which is a 100 pounds non-custom mystery box from chaos cards and i've ordered a 100 pounds custom mystery box themed around mythical pokemon so i've only got the non-custom one right now the other one takes a little longer to create because it's a custom one so we'll go into the opening of this one so first thing I want to mention before opening this box is shipping time. So the shipping time of the custom one normally takes a few weeks. This one, I ordered it on Thursday and it is now Tuesday. So it has been one, two, three, four, five days. Really quick shipping time compared to the, yes, the custom one takes a few weeks more, but it's normally a lot more fun. But I've never opened the non-custom one. I've never seen anyone open it. So let's get into it. And if you do enjoy mystery box content, or you love chaos cards, give me a subscribe, a comment, a like, turn notifications on, and let me know what company to buy mystery boxes from for the next time. Got our chaos cards mystery box right here. This is the gold one. So that's the 100 pound price point. It was a box within a box. They've got a new logo, it's really cool. And they've got a website now. Definitely check their website out, it's really good. Now, one of the things I like most about uh, this company is their attention to detail. So for example, their website is now very shuckle themed. They've got a little shuckle here because this is like their favorite box to do. But also their customer service. I said the packaging was a bit messy. They even proved that all the shredded papers gone completely. So they listen to you and they understand what you want. Second of all, one of my favorite things is that they split all of the stuff into individually wrapped parcels. So you don't just bring it out and know what you're gonna get. You can take everything out of the box and organize it. I've got all my parcels. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, including one that says open last. So yeah, that's a, a lot for a 100 pound mystery box. So this is the first one. It's the smallest one and lightest. I assume it's going to be a deck box as well. Um, as with the shocker one, I didn't determine value. There we go. We've got a nice deck box. I think it comes with some counters or something in nice Charmander box. I didn't take into account value on the shuckle one because it was more about can it was a challenge to do a box out of shuckle. This one I am taking value into account because I'm trying to compare the two to see if one is worth more than the other. They both cost the same amount. So I am going to be throwing up all the values on the screen. So first thing is a deck box. This is quite heavy. Is this a tin of some kind? Feels like a tin. There we go. We've got a nice tin. So this is a tin, but it's not a sealed tin, so they must have put their own things in it, which is another thing I like uh, about them. Come on. So in the previous um, Shaka video, I mentioned the Haribos that they put in their uh, box I couldn't eat because I'm vegan. So they've included some sour watermelon candy kittens which are vegan sweets, and they're one of my favorites. So that's instantly a plus. I'm going to be nomming through those. I do like that they reuse the um, the tins or the collector's chest up there, or what I thought was a lunchbox, uh, to put their own stuff in. I think that's really cool. I also like they're going very Slowbro themed because the guy that puts these together is called Slowbro on Instagram. Uh, he was in my comments and stuff. I'll put a link to his Instagram below. He's who puts all these boxes together. I believe he's one half of KS cards. Some nice stickers. We've got Slowbro. Some other ones, I'll open those later. Got a 60 card binder. I do like these mini binders. I also do really appreciate how a lot of their packing is paper rather than plastic. So we've got the 60 card binder, the stickers. We've got your dice, which we saw last time. The counters, three coins, that's cool. I do like coins, they're really cool. Um, some G Max EV Elite Trainer Box ones. A Zygarde pin, that's sick. Another armband. I want to see what's inside this. Last time it was a shuttle. 
This time it's a, a slow bro, of course, with a nice little Tauros thing. I've got to say, that is the most weird looking slow bro I have ever seen. Artbox Series 1. Okay, so we've got a Kabutops, a Sea King, a Jigglypuff, and a Star You Star Me. I've got no idea what those are. I've never seen them, but they're very cool. Okay, we've got a Mimikyu pin collection. I haven't seen one of these actually. Don't think I've seen one of these. So it comes with a Mimikyu promo card, a little pin, and then three packets from Base Sun and Moon. Seems to be. Uh, since this video is going to be quite long because I'm comparing two mystery boxes, I'm not going to open this in this video. I'll open it in another video. Got a very big one next. This does feel like my birthday opening these. So we've got a Champions Path Hatterene V collection, which comes with four Champions Path booster packs, which I don't think I've ever opened. Uh, not quite sure what's in those actually. But again, this is a great item. Value will be added, and I'll be opening this in a video which will probably have already been up on my channel. Almost before the last one. Okay, we've got a Pikachu Funko Pop, which is... Seeing the size of the box, it was pretty easy to guess it would be a Funko Pop. Because um, it does say that it is going to include collection box and a uh, figure or a plush or something. So a Funko Pop is fine. Uh, I did used to collect a lot of Funko Pops, but I never had any Pokemon ones. So this is going to go on my living room uh, display. Last. This feels like, looking at the shape of it, that this is going to be an Elite Trainer box full of cards rather than a sealed Elite Trainer box. It feels like a closed Elite Trainer box. So most likely full of cards. I think, I don't quite remember if this box contains a graded card. Let me look it up quickly. So in this box, you 100% gonna get 200 cards into custom booster packs, a large tin or Pokeball packed with treats and goodies. So we got the, the large tin, a deck box, three coins, which we got, three sealed booster packs, which we haven't got yet. They'll be in here. A figure, quest pop, vinyl or plush, a theme deck, trainer kit or pin box. We've got the pin box, a graded card, a V box, which we got, and then a mystery envelope with a minimum of either two V, v, v Max GX. I didn't get that, that might still be in the box or it might be in here. But in here we're definitely getting 200 cards, three booster packs and a graded card. Yeah, so there's the Vivid Voltage um, trainer box. I don't think I've got one of them. Oh, I do, have a, I do have a Vivid Voltage one. So we've got an open second and an open first. So we're gonna obviously open first first. So there's our envelope and there's our packs. Right, so let's get this envelope open. So in that envelope we had a Darkness Ablaze pack, a Breakpoint pack, and Evolving Skies pack. Again, value will be up on screen, but those will be opened in a separate video. Then we've got these custom booster packs. Okay, let's go straight in with our first one. Nuzleaf, a Drowsy, a Mareep, a Sandal, a Relicanth, a Shan, Sandshrew, a Pig Knight, a Sharpedo, a Stantler, a Delibird, a Grimer, a Monferno, a Bounsweet, a Hakamoo, Melanie, a Claw Fossil, an Electric Energy, a Volcrana, and a Whimsicott. We have a Magnemite, a Wilma, a Flaffy, a Sea Dot, a Vanillite, a Ghastly, a Seedra, a Cast Form, a Kakuna, a Nosepass, a Tootle, a Litwick, a Mawile, a Yamper, a Mudbray, an Energy Retrieval, Bosses Orders, Dark Energy, Malamar, and a Hollow Zapdos. That Zapdos is sick. Third one, we've got a Toxel, a Chimchar, a Skiddo, a Noibat, a Vanillish, a Drowsy, a Remroid, a Joltik, a Pinaco, a Gloomy, a Nicket, a Wooper, a Young Goose, a Gossifleur, a Duramaka, a Brawly, Slowbro, Spirit Link, of course we've got the Slowbro, Fire Energy, Gyarados, and Reverse All Beetle, Cramorant, Parasect, Duskull, Rowlet, Electabuzz, Laron, Sizzlipede, Wooloo, Pansage, Simupor, Trapinch, Romantis, Sobble, Growlithe, Machop, Bellowing Smoke, Professor Kakui, Fighting Energy, Galarian Slowbro, and White Kyurem. Oh, that's sick. I love White Kyurem and Black Kyurem. Eevee, Pansage. I used to have one from Boundaries Crossed when I was a kid. Slugma, Shelmet, Voltorb, Salandit, Puchiana, Fletchinder, Cutafly, Floatzor, Spooper, Clampel, Hatena, Salandit, Thwacky, 
Charon, Rusted Shield, Psychic Energy, Drampa, and oh, that is gorgeous. That's a shiny buy shop. What set is that from? The blue one, yeah. Rattata, Weedle, Dino, Barboach, Vulpix, Electric Rowlet, Cubchu, Corpish, Clefairy, Spinneret, Cacturn, Machoke, Onyx, Snubble, Rare Fossil, Multi Switch, Dangerous Energy, Mr. Mime, and a cute Hollow Charm and a promo. Mr. Mime, Machop, Snom, Cacnea, Fairy Seed, Blip Bug, Victini, Gagoat, Nidorino, Weeping Bell, Pearloin, Coffita, Cacnea, Doduo, Cubone, Nessa, That Dude, Barbacool, and Nice Hollow Machamp. Three mystery custom booster packs left. Then we've got our final thing, which should have a graded card in it. Sizzlipede, Kakuna, Horsey, Ryolu, Paragli, Yanma, Feebas, Diglett, Mr. Rhyme, Mr. Mime, Trubbish, Zwebos, Breezel, Changmoo, Cherubi, Coughing, Great Ball, Rescue Stretcher, Metal Energy, Simi Seer, and the Shining Fates Galarian Obstagoon. That is absolutely sick. Excadrill, Wingull, Carablast, Wisma, Panpour, Nidorino, Horsey, Bell Toy, Sneasel, Marini, Eevee, Durant, Psyduck, Salandit, Coughing, Pokeball, Fairy Drop, Fairy Energy, Electivire, and a Hollow Aegis Slash. And our last mystery box, mystery pack. Wishy Washy, Sableye, Simi Sage, Clobopus, Dartrix, Nidoran, Tepig, Cuffant, Wormadum, Wishy Washy, Spinneret, Cosmog, Mineshell, Mankey, Esper, Rose Tower, Wally, Water Energy, Cobbleon, and a Hollow Embor. Definitely some good hits from there. Open seconds. Let's see what's in our last packet. Open me first. So this is the graded card. Then this is the bonus mystery envelope. Okay, we've got a graded card. Let's see on the back. The back looks in pretty good condition, so I'm not too sure what grade this could be. Get graded. If it's an 8 or a high, I'll be happy. It's an 8. A Misty's Horsey, 1st edition. Yo, I've never even seen that card. Jim Heroes, Misty's Horsey, 1st edition, near mint 8. Apparently the corners and the edges are a bit battered, which makes it an 8. But that's kind of sick. I've got no idea on the value of that. I'll have to look it up. I can't imagine it's too much because it's just a normal card. But that's definitely going on my display behind me. That's absolutely sick. And then open last. Oh, we've got an Eevee Heroes Japanese pack. Okay, that's random. That's going to be opened in another video. Oh, we've got a Topps Bellsprout. Nice. Promo XY Greninja. A Reverse Holo Beautifly. Uh, EX Emerald Cacnea. What the fuck is that? A Flare Trainer card? I don't even know what that's from. I mean, it looks sick. It's Japanese. Okay. Pull first. We've got... Oh, that's gorgeous. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX. That's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> of course it's with a shuckle. How could it not be? Chaos cards. I love you. Pull second. Jesse and James. Dude, that's so sick. And it's a shuckle. Pull third. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. That's so sick. A Sylveon VMAX from Eevee Heroes. Is it a shuckle? It's a shuckle. Pull fourth. Oh, look at that. That is a nice hollow Japanese hypno. That's so sick. Is it a shackle? It's a shackle. Pull fifth, aka last. Yes, I understand that. Oh, that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful, isn't that? That's, that's a hollow Raichu. 1999. What is that? Base set? 1995, 1996, 1998, Game Freak Wizards. Yeah, so that's not an Evolutions one, that's a normal one. Is this a shuckle? It's a shuckle. 
I am confident that this has exceeded the value of £100. We've got a base set Raichu, a Japanese Hypno Hollow, uh, Eveon, uh, Sylveon Flare Ma uh, V Max from Eevee Heroes, a Full Art Jesse and James, a Monctra Zapdos and Articuno GX, a Flare Trainer, whatever the fuck that is, an EX Emerald Cacnea, Reverse Beautifly, a Greninja promo, a Bell Sprout Hollow Tops card, a Graded 8 Misty's Horsey, and of course, the best part of all is Shuckles. Hello, hello, Zane from a few weeks in the future. I've added up all the values. The total value of this box, estimated by eBay sold listings, is £100 box. The value is £176.70 to £181.70, depending on the price of the graded horsey, because graded cards can vary very often. I thoroughly enjoyed this box. The organisation was great. The cards were great. I personally would have preferred less custom uh, booster packs because it was a lot of cards to get through and they're just not as fun as regular booster packs or you know the, the, the cards and the top loaders and stuff but I'm sure people love the custom packs there was just maybe too many for me but that's not a downside right shipping time was five days value 176 pounds at least right now I give this box about a seven out of ten mythical box coming next tuesday we'll see how it compares the custom 100 pounds to the gold 100 pounds and then after i've finished all my mystery box openings i've got another three that i've recorded and need to edit i'll be doing a tier list and ranking every single mystery box from every company i've ordered go give chaos cards some love come back next tuesday for the mythical box unboxing sneak preview there's a deoxys